Hello everybody, my name is Ozra and welcome to, back to Hasher Water Originals. Yes, this is my own making. Uh, this is my own original idea. Is everything in between. That's right, I'm doing Stranger Things. Uh, sidebar, it's Netflix binge that I've finally finished. And yes, it has been confirmed that it's only 9 episodes. So this will include the finale. Uh, which I will talk in length about so was it good was it worthy of the you know first season to be honest I thought they repeated a lot of the stuff uh, particularly uh, in the middle part where you know uh, in the first season I remember the A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T W X Y Z the alphabets on the wall lighting up and all that so they kind of repeated that in this one but this time it's kind of a map thingy so I guess it's fine uh, you guys watched my first episode's reaction, so you guys know my first episode uh, thoughts and all that. But I just would like to expand on that a little bit more because uh, the first episode is kind of like the building point. Um, and uh, just to touch a little bit about, uh, you know, certain characters' development and all of that. Um, obviously, there are some twists that I didn't fully expect, but... They were there, they were planted there uh, really well. Um, Bob is a pretty good addition, I would say. The new kind of like love interest of the mother of Will. Uh, Zombie Boy isn't really an insult, I definitely think. Especially because, you know, it's, um, it's going into Halloween uh, themed. I definitely think that's instead a compliment because, you know, he can literally dress up as a zombie and nobody would fault him for that because he is a literal zombie boy but you know obviously you know kids be kids um you know they don't know how to take uh i would not really say it's an insult but rather you know a cheap shot uh and say whatever man <laughs> fuck you uh, <laughs> Anyway, uh, I thought that, uh, you know, Max, the new addition, Mad Max, was really good. Uh, Maxine was good. Uh, the brother is really fucked up, but he gets his comeuppance uh, during the uh, final third. So that's, uh, that's something I wanted to talk about as well. Uh, but everything in between, you know, it was really, really interesting to see it grow and grow. But again, you know, with... Uh, shows it's really hard to say that there's always like really really like absorbing episodes you know the only show i can say that about is black mirror but even then you know black mirror did have episodes where i'm just like i could have skipped this and you know i wouldn't be so you know taken away and i definitely think one of the episodes was the b drone thingy but the ending kind of saved it i'm not really you know i was like yeah okay fine um still i do not like send you know peril uh people uh, somebody was like really debating me about debating me about it i was like hey all power to you i just, i'm just saying you know i didn't need this i didn't want this and the only th good thing about it was the time travel, but you know, uh, to each their own. As I say, you know, you can d agree or disagree with my uh, statements. You know, I just I'm just saying it's not as powerful as, you know, 15 million or you know, those other ones that I have ranked and uh, talked about in length. Um, but yeah, that's a really seg uh, weird segue, I know, but uh, I just wanted to bring that up because, you know, uh, Stranger Things is supposed to be more horror based, more, you know, creep based, more uh, creepypasta based as well. So I don't think, you know, they brought it back here, but, you know, it's still very much the nostalgia uh, based uh, th um, theme there. Uh, I really do like the the new characters that are brought in, the new the scientists, and then the the conspiracy theorist. I th I thought that was a really good addition, and uh, the scientists who did all of this stuff got their comeuppance as well. 
Um, and uh, yeah, I guess the most I'm gonna talk about is the finale because you know the finale is such a big grand theme. But there is also something which I wanted to address, which is Eleven. Um, her story starts off uh, small. And I didn't notice that was Eleven until someone pointed it out as like, it's Eleven. And I'm like, okay, power to you. Uh, but yeah, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, it makes sense. But I was also like, maybe it's a new edition. Which I wasn't wrong. Just half wrong. Uh, because I was like, yeah, I definitely think that was someone else, and then it's actually, you know, the um, the other one I meant was the the um, the one with the mind power. So that was really cool. I forgot. Her name. Uh, I know her as eight, but uh, you know, uh, I think her name is like Becca or something. I'm not really sure. Um, but the one where I'm like, yeah, I don't know whether or not to feel bad is Dustin I relate a lot to Dustin and I think you know even if let's say like I was at Dustin's place and I didn't get to you know dance with another one I, I would feel bad but I don't think I would cry so to say but I, I definitely understand where they were going with it uh, because you know he was like rejected by practically everyone so you know I was just, like hang in there buddy you know, and of course, you know, he gets kind of like a pity dance from Nancy, but which I thought was cool for Nancy to do, so, you know. Um, and, uh, yeah, I definitely think, you know, the there is a clear, you know, boy and his pet trope in the first few episodes, but, you know, they uh, quickly dash it out, and uh, I feel like the season two was a bit like, crumbled up and like pieced together because like there is certain points where I'm like okay this doesn't need to be explained a lot more but certain parts are like okay we need to go more in that like how you know Eleven like just her powers are not fully explained and I know we're just like well you know it's good that it's not fully explained otherwise you know we won't be interested anymore but we do get a little bit more about it and I know that's definitely the eighth um, explanation to it and uh, everything. So I'm, I'm, I'm with that. Um, you know, and I know you know this everything in between is practically a season recap. But I did want to do this because I just wanted to mix it up and see how I fit. Um, but I, I also back to the the show. I also want to say that you know. Eleven is such an interesting character because especially the mother scene I was like okay that is kind of like the Captain America you know uh, nine uh, you know rusted uh, you know the trigger words for the you know turning on Bucky Barnes essentially but uh, the addition to this one is that it wasn't you know to manipulate her mind or anything it really happened to her and you know she was just traumatized by the head shock that she kept saying it over and over again rainbow uh, breathe um, you know uh, 450 4 to the left 3 to the right so you know it's it's things that happen and that's such an interesting take and again Eleven's powers do kind of take us to the other side as well the upside down so that is um, very very interesting and of course um, you know I th I think that Will did really a, gr a good job in this one because like he is the main obviously he's the main from this first one as well but you know in this one he gets possessed by the alien thingy and yeah it's great to see him kind of like see him like do like spastic reactions it's not to say like i want to see more spastic reactions but it's, it's great to see that you know he can react off of what he's been given you know uh you know something that you he can't really see so I definitely think that was such an interesting addition and obviously um, you know there's more stuff with um, Nancy and her boyfriend I think they're officially broken up I'm I'm not really sure but uh, I 
also think she has definitely, you know, she definitely realizes that she doesn't actually really love Steve. She actually prefers Jonathan. But, you know, it's kind of that love triangle thingy, which, you know, I, I kind of relate to. But, you know, I kind of get sick of it as well. So, it's it's one of those things where I'm like, yeah, it, it's, it's not as prodded as it was in Legend of Korra, so to say, but it, it was still there and I was still like, yeah, we didn't really need this, but I guess, you know, for your drama side, maybe. Uh, so we didn't really see Bob at the end. I'm not really sure, like, why. Um, maybe, you know, he's kind of like, gonna be sidelined because it seems like the mother is hanging out more with the with the Hawkins guy, which is the police guy, so I don't know. Um, and then the scientist guy is kind of like friends with the with the Hawkins guy, which is the police officer guy. So I don't know how that happened. You know, they never really like dived into it. I know maybe you know it was supposed to be implied or whatever uh, when you know he was treating the wo wound or whatever. But I was just like that. That was like out of nowhere, like left feel kind of so I was just like yeah we could have we could have dived into more of that maybe you know more scenes with that or something I don't know um but yeah I definitely wanna see more of the Stranger Things obviously but the thing about it is I don't know if they can find a storyline to kind of break out of the farming because it seems to me that this second season is kind of following the formula from the first one so it's definitely like yeah we need the mother the overprotective mother and then you know we need him getting into something and then the mother freaking out and then the mother trying to save the the son and then at the end you know it's happy pappy but is it Obviously not, because you know the the giant spider thingy is looming over. And by God, if I'm if I'm really really honest with you guys, like this is just a reminder of Super Eight, like the movie I watched, and I was just like, I can't unsee it because like there's so many things that they took from Super Eight, and I was just like. The, the spider alien thingies were from Super 8 and all this military stuff were f was from Super 8 and like damn if I didn't watch Super 8 you know I would be more invested but I kinda know where they're gonna go and you know it didn't surprise me at the end so you know it didn't even surprise like it, okay it surprised me a bit that you know Bob like you know what played somewhat of a role and I, I thought that was re somewhat interesting uh, because, you know, uh, Will was like in his dreamlike state, but it's actually he was in the upside down world and he was staring off in the distance. And of course, you know, he hears the advice that Bob gave him, like just stare him in the face, say, get, get, go away, go away. But obviously it's the fucking alien. So, you know, hey, uh, and then of course at the end, you know, uh, he does kind of like believe it in the end but you know I, I, I like that he was trying to break the fourth wall whatever but uh, I was like yeah I kind of know that from like nostalgia critic like you know he always points out this, this these type of stuff as well like you know he's like well I thought this was only in movies but obviously it's in TV so you know it's a bit like ir irony on a plate there um but yeah, I definitely thought that it wasn't as big as season one. And I, I remember watching season one and even then I was like, yeah, okay, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. It's pretty, pretty interesting. I would like more mystery, but uh, yeah, it's, it's fine. And this second season we get even more mystery and I'm like, mm, okay. I guess what I'm trying to say is I feel the same way that I felt when I watched season one and I'm just like, oh, okay, it's it's not the best, but I think it's 
certainly interesting in the aspects that it goes towards and obviously you know the somewhat taboo places that it goes you know showing teenagers smoke and, and some swearing and, and like some you know obviously references to the 80s you know the arcades and everything so I, I definitely understand where they're coming from it's more of the nostalgic feels in this one um, but I do really enjoy that they did planet for Halloween and it does really seem to be Halloween in that like setting as well because it's it's very 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 Halloweeny I would say uh, you know it's a lot of lots of dark shadows and everything and I do like that you know some uh, some thing you know it, it's more of the PTSD thing because you know of the bullies and uh, they they dress up obviously because it's Halloween and you know they trigger his uh, you know movement towards the upside down because he's scared and then he falls back and he goes into the upside down and I thought that was a really really good take a really good cinematography style transition whatever that you want to want to label it as I definitely thought that was really something where I'm like yeah that is something really well done and obviously the one thing that I can't take away from Stranger Things is the visuals uh, it's always good to see well done visual effects I would say you know the floating particles in there and the, the, the like the ink monster on the on the door and Eleven's powers you know that was really really cool so I definitely see a lot of practical effects as well um, with the you know with the makeup on the dog you know that's definitely obviously the the thingy the I want to call it the the flower head because <laughs> it's a flower head uh, the flower head eating the dog the dog slash cat. I, I'm still not sure because I'm like, that looks like a dog but there's they said it was cat so I'm like, okay, that's a big cat. Um, so I was like, yeah, it's one of those things where I'm like, I really am more into this because of the visual effects and excited to see what new visual effects that they are. So, I'm not, I guess if I'm watching season 3, it's more of the newer effects that they bring in, hopefully. Um, and yeah, that's about it guys, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, if you like this, please leave a like, and if you would like to see more, please subscribe to me, and remember to ring the bell, because YouTube loves to have subscribe people nowadays, so you know, and uh, yeah, share my videos, and I will see you guys in the next video, bye.